What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Brad. On today's video, I'm gonna show you a Fusion 360 tip that will allow you to basically scan any 2D shape into Fusion 360 and turn it into a 3D model. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is a part to scan. Whether that is a flange or a bracket, it doesn't matter as long as you can fit it on your scanning bed and it's 2D. Depending on the scanner you're using, you're going to need to open up some software so you can initiate the scan. Insert your part into the scanner. Somewhat square is always ideal. Go ahead and click scan, and once your part is scanned, save that as a PNG file. Next we're going to jump into Fusion 360 and start a new project. Click the Insert tab and hit Insert Canvas. You're going to want to select a file from your computer, go ahead and locate the 2D scan PNG file and insert it into your 3D workspace. You will need to select a plane for the canvas to fall onto, so go ahead and select the plane that works for your project. It will be a tiny little picture, but just click OK and we'll get to how we scale this. Now zoom into the part and figure out which feature is going to be best for you to reference the scale of this design. For this specific part, referencing the width of the two parallel lines on the right will be most ideal for my situation. Take some calipers or a tape measure depending on how accurate you want to be and measure the feature on your part. Jump back into Fusion 360 and click the drop down on the canvas tab. Right click here and hit calibrate. This will give us the option to select two points across our part and tell Fusion 360 what that dimension should be. Now let's select both of these points and enter that dimension we took from the feature on our real part. Fusion will automatically resize that PNG based off of the driven dimension that was inserted. Now that we have a scaled to size image, let's trace the profile and convert it into a 3D model. Here's how. The most efficient and accurate way I found is to use lines to profile the part, two point circles for the inside radii, and slots. Then we use this fillet tool to get really close to matching the outside radius on each corner where we see intersecting lines. I'll go over that now so you can watch the entire process. Once we have this part sketch, we can extrude it into its final material thickness and either use it as a 3D model, or we can use it as a DXF to send to a 2D cutting source like laser or water jet. Now this is super fast and not very time consuming to do and you can get within a few thou almost every time of your original parts dimensions that you scanned in. It sure beats laying it out with calipers, radius gauges, and other tools. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this tip helps you lay out 2D parts just a little bit faster. Anytime that you have any 2D profiled parts, whether it's two bolt flanges, regular brackets, anything flat that'll actually fit on top of your scanner, you can make this happen with. As always, thank you guys for watching. If this tip helped you out, hit that like button. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys soon.